。警方喺一名十三岁被捕人士嘅随身物品中，发现有两支嘅汽油弹同埋火机。Who provide young people financial support for professional equipment and abet them to go to the streets? The complete name of 612 Fund he mentioned is 612 Humanitarian Relief Fund. Since its establishment on June the 15th, 612 Fund has raised. 83.7 million Hong Kong dollars. The foundation has declared it does not provide materials and equipment for stage and protests. However, another briefing given by the foundation points at clues of protests-related expenditure. According to statistics, up to 60% of the funds for protests against extradition bill came from some foundations or NGOs. Apart from the 612 Fund. Foundations, including Hong Kong Confederation of Trade Unions, Civil Human Rights Front, and Hong Kong Human Rights Monitor, also donated funds to the movement. Where does such a huge amount of money come from? It is certainly not just from private donations. The three foundations mentioned are backed by the National Endowment for Democracy. Although Ned has repeatedly denied directly or indirectly supporting Hong Kong protests, a report by the organization seems to have leaked the truth, citing the current and past projects as examples. The organization has showed part of the work it did for the Hong Kong protests. A former official of the U.S. Department of Defense also said in an interview that Ned is deeply involved. We also have funded millions of dollars of programs through the National Endowment for Democracy to help democracy in Hong Kong. So, in that sense, the Chinese accusation is not totally false. As for why Ned avoids revealing what it has done, just look at what happened in these countries. But you may still not be fully convinced of the link between the donations from Ned and the demonstrations in Hong Kong. In 2014, the foundation's investment in Hong Kong reached a new high. In the same year, Occupy Central protests broke out in Hong Kong. In 2019, on the eve of the beginning of the protests, Martin Lee, nicknamed the Father of Democracy in Hong Kong, went to Ned to publicize his incitement plan. We hope the international community will do something instead of just watching the development in Hong Kong. Do you still think this is a coincidence? Apart from funding U.S. NGOs rooted in Hong Kong, National Endowment for Democracy or NED also transfers funds to its Hong Kong agents to whitewash itself. For example, the American Democratic Foundation has provided Hong Kong opposition tycoon Jimmy Lai 1.3 million Hong Kong dollars to support the Occupy Central movement. In the past three years, Jimmy Lai donated 40 million Hong Kong dollars to 14 organizations and three political parties. A work briefing of 612 Found shows that it received 300,000 Hong Kong dollars from Apple Daily in only one month of July 2019. Funds from abroad form a chain supporting the Hong Kong protest frontline. Prompted by overseas funds, university student unions, Hong Kong churches, and small groups raise funds in various names. But people start to question the flow of the funds. Doubts of embezzlement become louder and louder. Behind the doubts, no one knows the secrets. But these unidentified funds form a network in Hong Kong through various channels.
From masks, iron rods, to patrol bombs, the funds are put into real weapons on streets. While the tax from the U.S. becomes the cash machine for the protests after whitewashing. Uh, I'd like to clarify that. 我在这里想要澄清一下，对美国国家民主基金会并不呃出资来支持革命。对于任何国家要解体呢，一点都不感兴趣，因为是由这个纳税人的款项来支持。但是它是一个这个私营的一个组织。As street violence escalates, weapons become more and more professional. The suspicious money. Obtained by laundering and embezzlement, will flow to some unknown places eventually. <laughs>